what's going on YouTube it's your boy Wiz back again with another video and if you're like me you're really finding fitness to be a bit of a struggle these days but there's light at the end of the tunnel that's right because we're finally back outside well we're, we're finally back into the swing of things I got my resistance bands um, pretty much gonna do a resistance band workout today because I refuse to buy any type of weight gym equipment online where they're selling things double triple quadruple the price I mean I want to offer up they're selling a 25 pound dumbbells for $300 I mean get out of here man I, I refuse because when the gym open back up you're gonna be looking stupid with all this overpriced used equipment in your house so like I said a couple videos ago um, you know I'm ready to work out now and I'm really just gonna find other ways outside of the gym of course and outside of you know cheating myself buying some overpriced equipment to get it in so we have the resistance bands uh, gonna go ahead and walk to a location where I'm gonna do a couple laps around I'm not gonna show that and uh, you know once I run and do my cardio I'm gonna get into my resistance band workout so let's get it So I just finished up about two mile run. Let me show you real quick. And that's my cardio. All right, now that my cardio is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the elite resistance bands that I'm gonna be working with today. <laughs> All right, so I know my resistance bands don't look like much, but this is all we got to get it in with, man. I, you know, I tried to search the internet, Dick Sporting Goods, Walmart to get some better equipment, but everybody's buying up everything because, you know, we don't know how long these gyms are going to be closed. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera up on my tripod. I'm going to go ahead and get into my full body resistance band workout for the day. I'm going to go ahead and overlay a commentary over top of what I'm doing, just explaining, you know, what I'm doing and why. So just go ahead and sit back, enjoy this workout. Let's go. What's going on people? All right, let's get this workout started. So the first movement that I did was gonna be a face pull variation with these resistance bands. Now, the reason I did this after stretching, I just kinda wanted to get my rotator cuffs warmed up as well as hitting my you know rear delts just to kinda just get my body warmed up in preparation for what's to come. So after I was done with the face pulls, I went ahead and started hitting my chest. Now this next workout that I'm gonna do is a triple set. You've probably seen me do this in the gym on the cables uh, if you've seen any of my other chest videos. Now pretty much what I'm doing is a triple set. I start off with flies, as you see, mid-level flies. From there, I get into a chest press and uh, everything is about 12 reps, I believe. So I do the flies, then I do the chest press, then I do push-ups. Um, normally in the gym I would do incline push-ups, but you know, we ain't at the gym, so this did, you know, push-ups after the um, presses right here, so 12, 12, and 12, did that for three reps. All right, so immediately following the chest work, we're gonna get into a good shoulder superset here. Now this resistance band you see me working with, this is a different one. This is that resistance band, it's not a joke. I'm not sure what the weight is on that one, but it's pretty good work, man. You see I'm doing the overhead press with this resistance band. It looks like I'm struggling, but like I said, it was good work, man. Um, did about 10 to 12 reps, and after I did the overhead press, I get into the uh, side lateral with this red resistance band. Um, yeah, I think I did about, like I said, uh, 10 to 12 reps of each, three sets as well. Um, doing the resistance bands, one thing I can say is uh, you really have to be mindful of your uh, shoulder joints, and uh, especially your front delt. Uh, it could be really worn down after, uh, you know, you're not properly warmed up that's why i did start out with that face pull and um yeah moving right along you see i got that stronger band on the post right there and we're getting into another superset which this time i'm hitting my back you see i'm doing those rows and uh kind of a little bit difficult to stabilize yourself seeing as though like i'm doing standing up you know outdoors with a resistance band something i've never done but this is really good work because like i said this band is really strong and um, did about 10 to 12, maybe 15 reps. And uh, after I did that, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is uh, 
pretty much a hammer curl with that same rope. Um, I think I did about 15 reps of that. So doing all supersets, man, we're, you know, we're working with our weights for the first time uh, on a consistent basis and just trying to do anything to exert, exert my muscles and just, you know, promote type of stress, tear them down so I can build them up to at least maintain what I have. So moving right along, this is probably one of the most successful things I did because it was more reminiscent of just a natural gym movement. And this is gonna be the tricep, you know, push down, pull down, whatever you wanna call it, uh, you know, the good tricep work. Um, and just me looking at myself do this right now, it just, you know, brings me back to those gym fields because, you know, it's just hitting that tricep getting that good pump on the triceps with that push down it's always a good feeling but um so after i hit the triceps i went ahead and started doing some leg work as you see i got all three bands attached to the resistance band and i'm just pretty much doing some you know resistant lunges right here um you know these are fairly uh easy but you have to do high rep for it really to be um you know taxing uh and i did about three or four sets of 20 this is 10 each leg so by the time I reached probably the middle, or I would say the, about the third set, uh, you know, it was rather taxing. So I really enjoyed doing this workout for my legs. All right, and last but not least, this next one was a bit of a wild card. I was thinking on the fly. I had to work them ham dogs, man. We ain't doing no deadlifts. Can't do no RDLs with no dumbbells. So as you see, I have the attachment down low on the post. And we're pretty much uh, doing some RDLs with these resistance bands. And uh, a few days after this, my hamstrings were on fire. Did the same thing, about uh, 15 reps. And that was pretty much how I finished out the workout. So if you're able to do this exact workout, this is a really good full body workout, you know, using resistance bands. But if you're not able to do everything, I'm pretty sure you're not, you probably don't have access to a soccer goal post where you can put resistance bands at. But I really just wanted to post this workout just to give you an idea, like get creative. You know, we don't have, we don't have gyms and we have to just find ways to break our body down still. So just get creative with whatever you have. But I would definitely try to use some resistance bands as a part of of, you know, just keeping up your fitness and keeping that muscle you do. All right, guys, so that's going to be a wrap for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed that workout and you're able to use it for yourself. We got to keep pushing, man. We're all in this together. The gyms are still closed, man, but we got to keep our fitness up in some way. So if you did enjoy this video, if you could just take a minute and drop a thumbs up, a like for me, I would really appreciate it. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and join the crew. I drop all type of fitness related con tips, tips, tutorials, vlogs, meal prepping, everything fitness. So until then, I'm going to get you guys in my next video. Peace out, baby.